How to keep a man, always interested in you. Let's say you are dating a guy. Things are going well. But you start to think, what if he loses interest in me? Time and time again, guys fall hard for you, but they don't stick. And that makes you wonder if it's you or if you're doing something wrong, that's making them lose interest. We get tons of questions from women wanting to know the strategy or the rules to keeping a guy interested. But finding love isn't like playing a tennis match. However, in this video we are going to show you 10 proven ways to keep a man interested in you. Pay close attention because you don't want to miss anything. Welcome to a new video from the Social Psychology Masters YouTube channel. If you are new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos. And comment down below, I subscribed, and let us welcome you. Let's start. Why you want to keep him interested. So before we get into how to keep him interested, I'd like to go over why you want to do this in the first place. Because some could argue, well, if he's interested, he'll be interested regardless. I shouldn't have to convince him. Which is true. I always say, the right person will see your worth. But this isn't actually about convincing. It's just about making sure you keep the relationship fun, fresh and exciting and are giving it the best chance of working out. All of these tips are also going to help you. They'll make your dating experience with him far more fun and enjoyable. When dating, it should be equal interest, equal effort. Otherwise, there's a good chance you're just wasting time with the wrong person. So don't be so focused on keeping a guy interested that you forget to see what's actually happening here. You should always remember your worth, know that you are a good catch too, and ensure that your effort and feelings are definitely returned. With that said, let's begin with the actual tips. Number 1. Just be yourself. I'm going to start off with the number one thing that will keep a guy interested, well keep the right guy interested, which is what you want, and that is to simply be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. Don't let the stresses of dating or any fears or insecurities from your past take over. Instead, be unapologetically yourself and let your uniqueness shine through. Show the guy what you're all about. Focus on being the best version of yourself, and the happiest version of yourself, which also makes dating a far nicer experience for you too. When you do this, it will be like a breath of fresh air for the guy. He's more likely to be intrigued and want to get to know you further because you are enough. Just as you are, you are and always will be enough. If you feel like you're having to really try to keep someone interested and it's knocking your sense of self-worth, then it's a telltale sign that they're just not right. That's all. Number 2. Don't force it. If you feel like you're having to force it, it puts strain on the relationship. It also doesn't feel so natural, so real. This will only kill the interest because he'll be able to tell when something is not right. So if things feel uncomfortable or a little off, ask yourself, why? It can be something as simple as you putting too much pressure on it. Or, maybe it isn't quite right. Who knows? One thing we do know for sure however, is that forcing it won't fix it. So that's never the way forward. Number 3. Keep it fun and exciting. When dating, you want to focus on building a bond, doing different things together, getting to know each other better. Initially, you should be forming as much of a friendship as you are the foundations of a relationship. And this takes time. So if you want to keep him interested, focus on having as much fun as possible. Go to new places, try different things, get creative with some home date ideas. Whenever you see each other, think about what you can do to create new memories, to bring the two of you closer. Don't think about anything else. And certainly don't start overthinking. What are we? Where is this going? Is he dating anyone else? None of that even matters right now. All that matters is what you two are doing and how you feel. Stay in the moment and allow yourself to fully enjoy that moment. Laugh together, get out of your comfort zones together, do things that you both enjoy. Number 4. Don't rush things or push for a label. It can be difficult when dating and you start to catch feelings for a guy. It can take you from fun and lovable to totally crazy, very quickly. Why? Because you have emotions, it's natural, it's normal. It can become very scary and you can start to feel very vulnerable. You don't want to lose the person or what you have, so you start to cling on, act irrationally, act in ways that are no longer really you. As a result of that, instead of keeping him interested, moving it forward, this often only ends up pushing him away. 
it can also make it feel like living hell for you, which is certainly not what we want. So try to slow things down. Take a step back, get some space, get some time to breathe, relax and see the situation for what it really is, no way you need to do this. Because that's the key. If you really want to take things slow and take things slow with ease, then you need to want to. You need to have strong reasons for why you need to. Because the attitude shift is what's going to change everything. Also, make sure you're taking enough time to qualify him yourself. Right now, you're probably focused on making sure he wants you, but if you're genuinely looking to meet the right person and want your next relationship to be your last, then you must allow enough time to be 100% sure about who you choose. Remember, a label actually means nothing. And making it official won't make you feel more secure if you're not secure in yourself. Number 5. Keep being your own person. Be your own person, do your own thing, have your own life and allow him to have his. In fact, encourage him to have his, give him space. When you do this, not only will it put you in a better frame of mind and keep you more level-headed, but it will also draw him to you more. When you're together, show him love, show him interest, be his best friend. But when you're not, give him his space, make him start to miss you, make him excited about catching up with you. If you get this balance right from the start, it's going to build such strong foundations for a happy and long-lasting relationship. Another thing that's super important if you want to keep a guy interested. Standing your ground, knowing your mind, and not allowing him to walk all over you, no matter how much you like him. If his behavior starts to shift or he behaves in a way that makes you lose interest or respect, tell him. Be honest. Don't have a go at him, no way. But don't be afraid to express how you feel. And if he doesn't like it, then he's not right. You can't be afraid of scaring someone off and feeling like you always need to please them. Communication is key and that includes being able to communicate the things that you're not happy about, but in the right way. Number 6. Take an interest in what he is interested in. Taking an interest in what a guy's interested in is a great way to keep him interested. See, it all goes back to these experiences. Having fun, showing you listen, showing you care. You're also showing him what your relationship could be like together, and that the two of you really do gel. So maybe he has interests that aren't quite your thing, but if you're willing to give them a go, it says a lot about you as a person, and that's going to mean a lot to him. Each new experience is also bringing you closer, so never say no to doing something new together, especially if it's something that's important to him. It will make you learn far more about him, far faster too. Number 7. Let it progress, naturally. When it comes to how to keep a guy interested, you'll hear a lot of different advice. There's the whole keep him mean, treat him keen and discussions on intimacy and how quickly or slowly that should move. My view on this. Do what feels right. Just like you don't want to rush the relationship, don't rush key stages of the dating process. It actually adds more interest and excitement if anticipation and chemistry is able to build. So in that respect, it is good to wait before moving things forward physically. Having said that there's no set time frame, no rules around anything like that, each person is different. So do what feels right for you, and certainly don't feel any pressure, obligation or shame even. There's no comparison needed. Go with your gut. You can still keep things fun, exciting, flirty and affectionate without going all the way. This will then build the chemistry and make sure the relationship doesn't sit in the friend zone while still standing by your own morals and earning his respect. Number 8. Be willing to let him in. You also need to be willing to open up, let him in. As part of this, you must be prepared to feel a little vulnerable at times, and know that feeling vulnerable is okay, it's not a bad thing. There's a difference between feeling vulnerable because you're allowing yourself to feel again, and feeling vulnerable because your gut is telling you that something's not right. So you need to know how you feel and why you feel it. Trusting your gut is actually often a good thing. It often knows things before you do. But if it feels right with a person, there's been no major warning signs, everything's progressing in the right direction and, and the trust is there, then let him in. It will bring you closer. It will increase his interest because you will connect on a deeper level. You'll build a stronger bond. And that's what will enable the two of you to develop further. Number 9. Get to know him better. The better you get to know a guy, the easier it will be to know how to keep him interested. 
see, men and women are fundamentally wired differently, so already, what you want and need is likely to be different to him. But you can break this down further. What kind of relationship is he looking for? What's his love language? How does he express his love? And what kind of things make him feel the most loved? Where have things gone wrong with previous partners before? What things doesn't he like? What things put him off or push him away? Is he an introverted or extrovert? Does he need more or less space? What's his attachment style? And what can you take away from this? What makes him happy in a relationship? What does he need? The list could go on and on. But if you're going to take one thing away from this, it's that everyone is different. Everyone's answers will be different. And so, what may make one guy interested, may make another less so. The key is therefore to really get to know the person on a deeper level. This takes time, and again, is something that you can't rush. These are just things you should start to learn the closer the two of you get. Then from there, you can use it to strengthen what you have and progress it into more. If, of course, what he wants aligns and fits well with what you want. Number 10. Know that this isn't all on you. For the final point, I want to head back to where we started and remind you that this isn't all on you. In fact, if you allow the guy to take the lead a little, it's actually going to make him more interested in many ways. He knows he needs to put a little graft in, he has the opportunity to sweep you off your feet, and is able to step into his masculine role. He's also more likely to value you. If all you do is idolize him, put in all the work, he's going to take a step back, he's going to start taking it for granted. If you focus on giving, being the best person that you can be, being the best to him that you can be, but also having a balance so that he knows he needs to do the same back, it will raise his game. Just like you are really. Finally, if you still think understanding men is hard, then you should definitely learn how to trigger their hero instinct. The best way to learn about this amazing psychology is by checking out the first link in the description right now. It's a powerful psychology guide that will teach you exactly how to make a man fall in love with you using reverse male psychology. If you have made it this far, do you agree with this list? Is there anything you believe we might have missed? Let us know in the comment section below. To learn more, check out other videos on this channel and the links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.